So now that we have our testimonials page looking the way we want it to look, we're going to delete the content on the page that we don't need. And we're going to save this page by going to File, Save as, Testimonials.html. So that creates the Testimonials page. It does not, however, link this page into the rest of your website. If you recall when we looked at the navigation menu, the Testimonials icon did not have a link attached to it. So in order to link this page to that icon, you click on the icon, you go to the Properties window, and you click in the Link menu, and you insert testimonials.html, and you hit Enter to activate the link. Now, you can manually make the adjustment on every file that you have on your website, which is fine at the moment because Eric only has maybe a dozen files on his website. However, when your website starts to grow to a hundred pages or a thousand pages, it's pretty tedious to go through and manually change the link. So what I'm going to show you is how to use a feature that I like to call the search and destroy feature, but in reality is called find and replace. Let's go back into the testimonials page. I'm going to click on the icon and I'm going to go to the source to view the source. So you'll see that the icon is image src images forward slash testimonial gif. That's the code that generates the testimonials button. You'll see that before it there's some text that says ahref which is the hyperlink tag and it will open the file testimonials.html and then it's closed with a close A tag. So I'm going to highlight all of that text and copy it. I'm going to go back into design view. I'm going to remove the link from that button and save the file. So now it's reverted to not being linked into the website. So what I'm going to do now is switch into code view. The button is still highlighted so that highlights the code in the code view. I'm going to go to Edit, Find and Replace. You'll see that the code that was highlighted is automatically copied into the Find input area. I'm going to paste the code that I had paste, copied before into the Replace input screen. Now if I were to hit Replace at this moment, it would only make the change on the current page. We want to make the change on all the files in the folder where we have our website files located. So in my case, it's in a folder called Eric Harrell. So you would hit the file icon and browse to where your files are and then click select. Okay, so now we're ready and we're going to hit replace all. And it's gone through and made all the replacements for me. So if we look at the testimonials, page again, you'll see that the new link has been inserted. If we look at the home page, you'll see that the new link has been inserted. So everything looks okay, so we're going to save our changes by going to File, Save All. Now let's learn how to upload these files to our web server. Dreamweaver does have built-in FTP functionality. To create the FTP, we go to the site menu and click new site. We're going to call it we go eco and the URL is www.wegoeconow.com. I'm going to click next. You don't want to use server technology. Eric's just built a flat HTML site, so we'll click next. We want to always choose the option of editing the local copies on your machine and then uploading to the server when you're ready. You're going to browse to where the files are located and click Next. We want to connect to the remote server via FTP. For security purposes I'm going to pause the video while I set up the rest of the FTP. Okay, welcome back. So I've set up the FTP information and click the Next button. 
The next screen will show you options on sharing files, as Eric is the only person who will be updating the website at any given time. I'm going to select no, do not enable check in and check out. And it's done. Okay, so you'll see a new window has been opened on the right hand side of the screen. This is the file transfer window. To upload a file to the web server, you simply click on the file name and click the blue put files button. To download a file from the server, we switch to Remote View to view the files on the server, find the file we wish to download, and click the green Get File button. And that would have downloaded the file again. To disconnect or connect to the remote host server, we click the Disconnect button. To reconnect, we simply connect the button. So that covers file transfers to and from the web server. Let's move on and learn how to create some other design elements. We covered creating a link that's attached to an image file. If you look elsewhere on the website, for example, on our contact page, we have a link that's not attached to an image. So let's learn how to create that link. I'm just going to hit enter and type in email info at wegoeconow.com We're going to make the content bold to match the content above. Then you're going to highlight the email address and scroll down to the properties window where it says link and type in for an email link we use the tag mail to and then we type in the address hit enter and that activates the link. To create a hyperlink as we have on the special report page you scroll down to the text you want to hyperlink so for example this contact page we want the contact page the link to be contact.html so let's review that. Hit enter I'm going to write contact page I'm going to highlight the text that I want linked, go down to the properties window, hit link, and type in contact.html and hit enter. I'm going to save this page and show you that at any time you can preview the pages you are building by selecting the preview button. We'll go down to the contact page, the new link that we've created, and click it and it has indeed brought us to the contact page. So I'm going to close these tabs and we'll be returned back to the page I was just at. Now there is one more type of link that we can create and we have a sample on the terms page. So here we have a hyperlink for a domain URL. To create the hyperlink is the same process as creating any of the other links that we've created thus far. So we'll hit enter, we'll hit www.wegoeconow.com, highlight the link. In the link text we put the full URL with the HTTP and hit enter to activate the link. Now we're going to talk about target. The target of the link is whether you want the link to open a new browser window or to stay on the same window. With internal links such as links between the contact page, the about page, the testimonials page, you want the target to be none. So we leave the target blank. However, if there's any time when you are referring to a, a link that's external to your website, you want the target to be set as blank which means that when that link is clicked it will open a new browser window. So I'm going to save this page. We're going to click on the preview. I'm going to scroll down to the new link that I've created and it should open another instance of this browser. And there we go. It has opened a new window.